Good afternoon. This is Christine Krause from the National Weather Service Office in Amarillo, Texas, here to talk to you about our severe weather possibility uh, ranging from Thursday through Saturday across the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. So what we are looking at is severe weather Thursday through Saturday, and the primary hazards will be hail up to the size of golf balls, damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. An isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Um, perhaps probably the most significant will be heavy rainfall that can result in areas of flooding or flash flooding. So what we are looking at from the Storm Prediction Center, here's their day two severe weather outlook and the yellow area denotes where the slight risk of severe thunderstorms will be. You can see it's mainly over the eastern half of the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles, but the western Texas and Oklahoma panhandle is not out of the woods as they still are under a marginal risk of severe weather. And the day two period covers for Thursday. Now going into Friday, you can see the slight risk is still roughly over the same area and also expands a little bit farther east into Oklahoma. And again, same situation where the eastern half is the most favored area for severe weather, but still the western half can get in some severe weather as well. Okay, now looking ahead to the day's 4 through 8 outlook, and this, um, this animation shows you starting from day 4, which would be Saturday, and going through the, the day 8. And day 4 is really the only day in this outlook that we are expecting any kind of severe weather. And that 30 hatched area indicates that is a 30 um, uh, pretty enhanced area for severe storms. So all in all, you could take away from this is we have a, a pretty decent chance of severe weather ranging from Saturday, Thursday through Saturday. Okay, now what are we looking in terms of precipitation amounts? Well, from the uh, from uh, one of the national centers who forecast QPF or rainfall amounts, you could see some enhanced areas of maybe up to a half an inch of rainfall over the eastern quarter of the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. And those areas also received a lot of rainfall, so we got to be weather-wise and be ready to uh, prepare for flooding if those storm storms do dump a whole bunch of rain in those areas. However, west of there, still, again, not out of the woods to receive heavy rainfall. Kind of a similar situation for day three. Again, this would be on, fr on Friday, and uh, still looking at enhanced area of um, some heavy rainfall amounts over the eastern part of the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. Now remember these are forecast depictions of rainfall so this is not set in stone and some areas outside of the heavy rainfall can still see heavy rainfall from thunderstorms. So what are we looking at? Why is the eastern half the most favored area? Well simply as we know in this part of the country um, the dry line will be coming a big factor and looks like the dry line could hang up in the central part of the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles and uh, east of there that's where the best chances of thunderstorms will occur. However with all the rainfall this area has received lately the dry line can take a farther westward position and that places all the area under the gun for severe weather. So what are we looking at for hazards? Again, um, hail, damaging winds, and flash flooding are probably the biggest hazards from any of the severe storms that develop. Um, there is a tornado threat, but I want to emphasize that it is a low threat. And in summary, again, I um, want to emphasize the large hail, damaging winds, and flooding with a low possibility for tornadoes. Best chance for storms over the eastern two-thirds of the panhandles. And the best timing will be uh, Thursday through Saturday, mainly in the late afternoon and into the evening. Thank you for any latest updates. Please check out our webpage, our Facebook page, or Twitter. And thank you for listening.